Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Blossom Sage Sakura. So let's start from her stats. So I must say her normal form is uh, kind of bad in my opinion. First you need to do story. You need to awaken her abilities. You also need to get Latin Awakening. Okay, so that's kind of easy for today. But yes, you simply need to do those extra thing and for her passives I must say it's nothing special okay sure she gets 100 static magic boost that's very nice but again on this normal form she doesn't have any killer so basically I can say that this normal form is her transition period or whatever okay you're gonna say you simply need to use it until your breath shift form available because your breath shift is available starting on the fourth turn yes that's also quite annoying and for breath shift form luckily it is descent she gets 100% lightning resist 50% light and dark so whoa for elemental i must say she is quite durable and not only that she also gets 100% beast aquatic and undead killer Yes, this is for magic, okay, not for physical. So, pretty good. I can say that you can use her for dark vision because of this killer speciality. So, very nice, but on normal form, meh. Okay, and the 50% LB damage boost may be useful on breath shift because the limit burst damage is not pathetic like her normal form. So, that's all for her stats. Now let's talk about normal abilities. So for normal form, I also can say mm, it's kind of meh. Okay, she able to support, able to chain, and also able to finish. And what I mean by meh is not super bad, but let's talk about it. First, she able to chain with lots of fa chaining family. But her strongest chaining family is Graviton Cannon. Wow, this is so cannon chaining move because who uses Graviton Cannon? And yes, you may say I can partner her with another Blossom Street Sakura. Yes, you can do that. But I think you need to have like macro or really good at chaining because when I check the wiki, it says hard when you triple cast this graviton cannon so good luck on chaining using this graviton cannon okay for bolting strike it is nice but the damage like you can see on the table here it is only 54.7 times damage and this is not that bad because she is actually a penta caster so yes she can compete with let's say like triple caster who can cast 80 times damage per cast because the end the damage will be the same but again this means you need to have another penta caster which means another blossom stage sakura that's not a big problem for trial but for dark vision you cannot bring duplicate and that will be problem and for dark vision i think she can become finisher because quick final thunder is quite strong it can deal 70 about the yeah, about 70 times damage and remember she has pentacast and based on yes i haven't tried her animation when i make this video but based on the past this quick final thunder has fast animation so i think you won't have a problem on landing five quick final thunder on enemies as long as you use triple cast stardust ray or something like that okay because it is really fast and quite decent and that's it that's basically what she can do on normal form she able to support but i think the most useful support is thunder imbued to one ally other things like all elements resist are kind of half s and yes she able to feel 40 lb gates to one ally but it requires her lb to be full that's nice if you want to have someone on your party, but I don't think that's reliable, okay? I think when you use her normal form, you want to wait until 4th turn. So basically on the 1st to 3th, the 3rd turn, you're gonna use Pentacast Quick Final Thunder, okay? Instead of buffing your party. And after that, 
Let's talk about brief sheet form. So for brief sheet form, it is better, but also has some minor disadvantage. So on her brief sheet, she cannot chain with graviton cannon anymore, and that's not a bad thing, okay? Because on this form, she becomes full fledged finisher. But again, the problem is the quick rebel intention blossoming thunder. It has very long name, and like its name, it has really long animation. So I don't think you can land five quick rebel intention blossoming thunder at the same time. Okay, I mean on the same chaining window period. Okay, sure, it deals amazing damage, four four hundred fifty times damage, really awesome. But again, the problem is obvious. So I think the way to do damage on this brave shift form is through her limit burst, which is also amazing because, like you can see, that if you able to gear her to have four hundred fifty percent limit burst damage in buff included, remember she already has one hundred fifty percent LB damage self buff. Okay, very nice. She can deal six hundred sixty six, yeah, six hundred sixty times damage, which is huge. Wow, amazing, right? And remember, she also has killer on beasts and other type. Okay, but again, the problem is the damage. It is a hit attack, and it is unlike other characters, LB other LB finisher, which last hit contain the biggest damage. If you take a look on the screen, the limit burst animation, you can see that each hit deal about 10% of each damage and on the last hit it deals about 30% of the damage so again you cannot multiply this attack completely you can aim for the last hit to finish but again it's only 30% of the attack so mm, I really cannot say whether it is that good or not but what I can say is, yes, it deals amazing damage, so it depends on you how you can finish using this limit burst because, because it is 8 hits attack, okay? And for rotation, it is pretty simple. You want to use Admiral Black Blossom, okay? This will refresh your MP, increase your magic by 300%, and then Black Blossom Art to increase your limit burst damage. After that, simply use your Limit Burst or your Penta Quick Rebel Intention Blossoming Thunder. Oh, what a pointless name. Okay, so that's how you use her. Mm, I can say not, not anything special, okay? Really, I have 5 Blossom Sage Sakura and after reviewing her, taking a look on this, sure she has potential, the damage is great, but because of hard hard okay i can say using her is quite hard for the timing that's that's why i i'm not that interested to her okay but that's all about you so enough about brave she form now let's talk about equipment her equipment is kind of same like neo vision soul you need to focus on building her Magic stats and limit burst damage if you want to use limit burst on her brave ship form But the good thing is she has really nice true dual wield and true double hand stats So you are free whether you want to make her into true dual wield or true double hand mage But I think it's better to make her into true dual wield especially if you aim her to become LP finisher remember that if you have two black Roselia then you can you can probably dual wield it and you're gonna get 60% limit burst damage boost okay I'm not sure whether it can be stacked or not but I think it can be okay and yes you can also use trans power because trans power is really nice because like I said you can make her into you can easily max her true dual wield by equipping two trans power so I can say she has more advantage compared to Neo Vision Soul in terms of equipment and through dual wheel through double hand stats. Okay, with those equipments you can get 190% limit burst damage boost 
She also has 50% limit burst damage on Brave Shift, so you get 240%. Very nice, and yes, remember you can equip Vision card to increase her magic stats. And remember, because she is a female, if you have uh, Starlight Elena Vision card, you can also equip that to increase your limit burst damage. For partner, mm, I can say you need to have Chainer who have long animation time and right now I can say that triple stardust ray or triple bolting strike are the best because they are easy to chain and I think they have enough animation time but still I'm not sure whether it is enough for landing penta quick rebel intention blossoming thunder or whatever okay so that's all for equipment and partner now let's talk about trial so mon most trials i can say she can works really well but she probably have a problem on imperil why i say about that remember that her breath she form thunder imperil only comes from her limit burst and it happens after you deal lightning damage so yes if you need to dispel the enemy buff like on intangible battle that means your limit burst won't get benefit from thunder in peril so with that in mind you need to have other characters who are able to imperil thunder element if you use them if you use her on scorn of intangible and for scorn of antenola remember that you you can finish it using single target attacker but it is much easier when you use aoe attacker so her aoe damage source on her breath she form comes from her limit burst so yes it may be a problem if you want to finish it asap but yes if you are okay with single target attack i guess you are okay with that so enough about the trial now my conclusion for blossom stage sakura so blossom stage sakura is definitely not a bad mage at all she definitely has a place especially on dark vision when you need to use magic thunder attack because wow she is pretty strong i must say but again you need to be able to land all of her attacks within the team and again, that's maybe not a big problem on Dark Vision because on Dark Vision you aim to get really high hit chain count. Okay, on trials you don't need to aim high chain count. Simply make sure you finish at let's say above 10 hits, 10 elemental chain. But on Dark Vision because you want to score high hit elemental chain or yeah high chain counts then it's possible to land all of her attacks on the process okay because yes like i said on dark vision you can bring like four chainers and then unleash the attack within one turn and on that situation i can see her values are really nice because of that specialized thunder element but on her on trials i think they are much better mage but yes again mm, I'm not sure okay I haven't done dark vision at this point but on previous dark vision they count the turns and it could be a problem on dark vision when they still count the number of turns because remember her breath she form only available on the fourth turn but if they don't count the turns count she is good okay really nice and what I don't like about her is like I said her attack animation is kind of long and i find her trust mastery word and stmr are not the best okay, for trust mastery word it is self obvious okay 40 percent magic oh kind of low 20 percent mp 2 lb gauge regen i don't think that's something you want to chase for your mage and for stmr it has really high magic 77 but again the i think the most useful attribute on this stmr is 50 percent lightning resist and that's kind of niche only one element so yes i won't chase her for trust mastery word or stmr 
But that's just me. What do you think about her? Leave it on the comment. So thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more fun fantasy. Bravex VS Guide. Bye bye guys.